in the short term, where the dollar is is not a concern of mine, okay, that it will fluctuate, that uh, in the short term there's obviously benefits uh, and, and issues with a, a lower dollar. And, and again, in terms of the benefits, it is beneficial for our trade imbalances. There are also issues for people who hold dollars. So I, I want to be clear in acknowledging both. In the long term, I fundamentally believe in the strength of the dollar. Uh, it is the reserve currency. I believe it will continue to be the reserve currency, given the strength and the confidence in the U.S. markets. So let me just be very clear about that. That is not a shift in the U.S. position on the dollar at all. Well, again, what I'd say is it's not a shift in my position on the dollar at all. Uh, it, it is perhaps slightly different than previous Treasury secretaries who in recent times have just commented on strong dollar, strong dollar. So again, it's an acknowledgment that the dollar is, in, in essence, again, where it is in the short term will be determined by the markets. I don't want to be overly tricky with the language, but that to me sounds like, as someone who's worked around financial markets for a while and, and probably nearly as, as long as you, an, an implicit acceptance of a weakening of the dollar from here on in. Uh, again, I'm not making a comment whether it's implicit weakening or an implicit strengthening. Again, let me be clear. In the short term, where the dollar is is not a concern of mine, and it's not, uh, it's not something I spend a lot of time thinking about. There are benefits of where the dollar is, and there are costs <coughs> of where the dollar is, depending upon which side of the table you're on. What I am focused is longer term, where the dollar is, and let me be clear. You know, we've been, the Treasury puts out a currency report where we comment on other people's intervention. We work very closely with the IMF. Uh, what we don't support is fixed people who try to fix their currencies. We do support free and floating currencies reflective of the market. Mm. This is, um, I mean, I, I'm aware of the irony of the fact that I'm asking you this. So I am generating perhaps the third round of verbal intervention that the markets are having to uh, respond to and deal with at this stage. In, in what sense is the level of the dollar a, pri a priority at all for the U.S. administration? Again, where, where the dollar is right now is, is not a priority. It's a, <laughs> it's a focus of the free markets. I think we've clarified that, haven't Good. we, now? I think so. <laughs> Obviously, there has been a spike in inflation, which has been driven by a depreciation of the currency in late 2016. We've, we've against the dollar, we've recovered a great deal of that uh, ground. And this morning, we seem to be recovering uh, quite a bit more, Steve. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs>